Hey guys, back in the car. Uh, I did a video earlier today um, about the 1180, the NVIDIA GTX 1180, which apparently, apparently, is coming out around July, August 2018. So I talked about the specifications in that video. It is, in some regards, a more efficient, slightly more powerful 1080 Ti. Um, from a gaming point of view, apparently it's like 18% better performance, but time will tell how well this card performs as far as hash rate goes. So, um, a few years, a few of you guys were saying that the GDDR6 memory, and you know, memory in general is something that's um, important in things like hash and moto algorithm and all these other, you know, echo hash kind of coins. Um, so, yeah, time will tell what's going to happen. But I thought I'd do a quick video, a uh, quick cash video in my car, uh, and just talk about, you know what's going to happen uh, and basically what people in my position position are going to do because if you've got a, a GPU mining rig just now um, you're obviously looking at this news and you're looking at it closely because it not only affects what cards you buy in the future for your rig but also affects the cards you've got just now without a doubt with the new cards coming out your cards are going to drop in value so I kind of covered I covered this a little bit um, last month in a video um, where I talked about should you uh, sell your cards or should you not sell your cards. Um, you know, this is a question that I think is always going to come up and always something that people want to ask you about because it's not a black and white question. It's something that changes over time. Um, you know, me saying you should keep your cards and not sell was probably that maybe that's the right thing to do a few months ago. But then when new cards come out, it's maybe the wrong thing to do. Um, so right now, you know, the end of April 2018, towards the end of April 2018, um, you know, the question is, should you sell your cards? Should you keep your cards? You know, we've basically got, say, three months before these new cards come out. I've got, I've got 16 ATIs, but obviously when these new cards come out, it will affect 1070s, 1080s, 1060s, 1050 TIs as well. Um, the rain's on, the rain is on. Um, so it's one of those things because I think without a doubt the price of 1080 Ti's will go down at least a little bit. Depending on the availability of cards, you know, the, the cards could drop maybe just hundred pounds, hundred, you know, 150 or so, maybe more, maybe a lot more. Um, but it, it will depend on the market, um, it will depend on the availability of other cards because you know what, I saw this uh, myself, you know, I, I bought my cards in December 2017 um, 1080s were like £450, 10, 1080Ti's were like 620 Fast forward a month or so and people were paying the same for 1080s, what I, you know, what I was paying for 1080Ti's. So, it's one of those things because I really don't think there's a right or wrong answer here because also recently, uh, you know, if I had to sell my cars right now, I would obviously, you know, sell the cars at a higher value, but then I'm missing out on three months of mining with those cards. And potentially, potentially, the coins that I mined over the next three months could give me a much, you know, better return than any drop in value. Um, it's not certain, there's no guarantees. Um, but I mean, I've seen this recently, you know, I've been mining Safecoin and because I got on there pretty early, the block reward's fairly high. I'm getting a, you know quite a lot of coins per you know per day, per per week, per month. In a few months' time, it's going to be a different situation because in a few months' time, a coin like Safecoin, the, the block reward is going to be smaller. You're going to get less coins per day. Um, and this is the thing: see if you've got mining cards, you've always got an opportunity to mine cards, uh, to mine new coins. And of course you can use that money and buy like nice hash power and things like that, but that is really good, you know, just to have cards um, and you can mine whatever coins you want. So right now, knowing that these new cards are coming out in July or August, you know, we might see other cards not coming out to August, September. I'm sure we're going to see like an 1180 Ti in October or November or something like that. But I, I don't feel the immediate rush to, to go out there and sell my cards as much as I should. You know, um, I, I'm sure other people are going to sell their cards right away, and maybe that is the right thing to do. But 
I don't know. Like the 1080 Ti's are still powerful cards. From a mining point of view, I suspect these 1180s are going to give a very similar hash rate, at least with Equihash. Um, maybe different with other algorithms. But um, I think the big difference for the 1080 Ti's for that card, I think the big difference um, will really come when the 1180 Ti comes out. That's when we'll really see the price of the 1080 Ti's drop in price. But if you had to sell now, worrying about that, we're going to lose a few months of mining. So, you know, I've got no doubt there's going to be a lot of YouTubers out there that are going to be talking about this. Uh, and some people will might be saying, definitely sell right now. I, I just think, you know, when it comes to mining, when it comes to selling your hardware, it's just not always black and white. And, you know, there's a lot of arguments to be... Um, you could put a lot of arguments as to just keeping your cards and just keep mining. You know, because... The unknown factors obviously is like the scarcity of cards but you've, you've also got the market as well because the, um, we're entering well it seems like we're entering this I wouldn't say a bull run but we're definitely entering a, an upward swing in the market and all these things play um, all these th things play a factor because if the market is on the upswing and the market is going you know really well then you know, people are making more money from mining, which means that more people want to get into GPU mining, which means that cards are more scarce, and people are less likely to sell. Time will tell, time will tell. Um, I don't have an answer, guys, I really don't have an answer. I think from my point of view right now, I'm not in any immediate rush to sell my cards right now. Um, I'm happy to keep mining, but I do realize at one point, my cards are going to be not as effective in comparison to other cards in the market. I will be burning more electricity than I could have if I bought like an 1180 instead of a 1080 Ti. Um, so, yeah. I don't think there's a sweet spot as far as when to sell. I really don't because it's not an exact science. Um, and you can do the right thing and sell and then, you know, you miss a lot of opportunities to, to mine certain coins. So, that's what it is guys, um, this, isn't a, this isn't a video where I'm going to tell you you definitely should do something or you definitely should not do something. Uh, I just thought I would drive, record, um, oh, I'm going to love it too fast there. Um, yeah, drive, record and just kind of give you my thoughts on the issue. But, you know, there's going to be a lot of you guys out there that are mining, that are, you know, that are probably pondering these thoughts as well. Um, Perhaps I will have a more kind of hard line response on what to do um, when all of this is official because there's, there's no announcement from NVIDIA, there's no cars actually being sold, there's no guarantee that these specs are real or you know that they're definitely going to be out, the cars definitely going to be out in July, it's all rumours at this point, but we'll wait and see, but I think you know I'll maybe review this again when um, the cars are officially released and then we'll take it from there. So thanks for watching guys, um, I just thought I would kind of give you my opinion on this, but what I'd like from you guys, if you do have a GPU mining rig, is give me your opinion on this. Uh, check out my video on the 1180, or at least check out the articles on the 1180 as far as what the specs will be, and um, let me know what you think guys, let me know what you think. I'm not going to profess to be an expert on this, um, I think there's a lot, of, you know, a lot of ways to look at this, so let me know what you think in the comment area below. Thanks for watching, and until next guy, <laughs> can't talk, until next time guys, take care, cheers.